Lovelies, today I'm going to be building the beach house from The Summer Turn Pretty. If you don't know what The Summer Turn Pretty is, it's a TV show based on a book series written by Jenny Han. It's one of my favorite shows ever. It's about this girl who spends every summer at this beach house with these two brothers and there's like this love triangle thing. So basically the beach house is a very important setting in the TV show. It's a super pretty beach house and I've seen the coastal theme like going around Blacksburg for a while now so I thought it'd be super fun to make it in Blocksburg. So the thing about this house is it's kind of weird. I think the back is like more of the like focal point and like important part. Like the back has this really nice pool and they spend a lot of time in the TV show like showing the back of the house but not very much time in the front. I searched so far and I could hardly find any like reference photos for the front of the house. So we're just gonna have to like try our best. So the house goes back a little bit because there's like this driveway and like oval, what is it called? Like oval driveway. So we'll put it like right here. Actually, we're making it even more like that. Is that too far back? I can't tell. Actually, you know what? I think it's fine. Okay, so we kind of have this part done and now it gets really hard because there are like no reference photos that shows the side of the house. We'll just have to like make stuff up as we go. I really wish Bloxburg would let us place half walls. Like I hate how you can only place walls like one square. I wish you could do like like half a square. So the back of the house looks really, really complicated. Okay, that is a little too flat. I feel like that's a little too big. I think that's our best option. And then it kind of goes back like this. And they have two kind of like balcony areas right here. So I'm just gonna add that. Okay, the roofing looks so complicated. I'm not gonna lie to you. Usually I just place like two roofs and call it a day. Wow, this is one expensive roof does it need to be higher because it's already like pretty high i think it needs to be higher this like middle roof is really high let's just try this again okay we have two roofs down so for those of you guys who have watched the show let me know like your opinions on it because i'm actually really interested are you guys team conrad or team jeremiah that's like the important question me personally team conrad i actually watched the series before i read the books and when I first watched the series, I was like big Team Jeremiah girl. But after I read the books, guys, I'm a full Team Conrad girl. It's the only right answer. I hate how this roof is like kind of sticking out, but I don't really know what to do about it. Actually, I think we can redo it. Okay, you can't even tell that the roof is kind of like different heights. Because, you know, perspective. Oh my gosh, this roof is still sticking out. The back is like the most important part, so I really want it to be like perfect. So I also love the soundtrack of the show so much. It's just so good. The roof has these bits that kind of come out a little, and I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I think I might have to use basic shapes. Me and basic shapes, we have a very love-hate relationship. Like, I like them, but they're so expensive for no reason. And they're also like really frustrating to use sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Whatever, let's stop complaining and start building. <laughs> that should be my new like motto, stop complaining, start building. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna use a basic shape and lift it up. This wedge is like the perfect shape I want. I'm just gonna size it up and then I'll just like, move it okay this is not like the worst i think i have to redo the roof though which is fine i honestly don't know what i would do without the transform tool so i think we're at the stage where we can start coloring a little bit okay i've kind of been playing around with the color wheel a little bit the house has this really interesting texture that kind of looks like this roof tiles texture but this texture makes the color really dark and the house is like very pastel and light so i don't think we can do that i think our next best option is this one we just have to make it this like very light bluish grayish color. I feel like it's, that's kind of perfect. Maybe it needs a little more gray though. Guys, this is so hard because in some photos it looks blue and some photos it doesn't. Okay, I think this is a good color for now. I just know I'm gonna end up like recoloring the entire thing later, but it's fine. It's because now we have the color wheel so I don't even have an excuse if the color does not match. I think blue houses are like the cutest ever. Why do I kind of like it? So the roof I know is definitely gonna be difficult. In the photos, it kind of looks like a brick texture. What? What am I trying to spell? Let's just place the door first and we'll go from there. I thought Bloxburg, 
Yes, okay. They do have like a door that has windows on the side. This one is really similar to how the actual door is, so I think I'm gonna use it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I just realized I think this roof has to go forward one. I don't even wanna count the amount of times I have redone this one roof. So the patio is interesting. It just kinda goes up a little bit. Now, usually I would just use a roof and like go to the basement and place it so we might just do that okay so here's how it's looking like so far i just put like decals up here and i colored them so they kind of look like lights like coming out of the windows but i think i'm gonna change it to um like a decal with blinds or something because i don't know how i feel about this but yeah this is what we have so far currently the house is worth forty three thousand. so there's this really pretty um like rock pathway that leads to the front door hi oh my god <laughs> i think i'm just gonna use a stepping stone and like resize it Okay, this is what the path looks like. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, but I might like move some things around. The road's looking a little bit wonky. I'm sure it will look better when there's like gardening around. So I'll show you guys the best reference photo I have for the garage. Um, it's not much to go off. It kind of looks like a little cottage. Is that just me or? Okay, so the garage is good enough in my opinion. So there is a little arch like right here. <laughs> and luckily Bloxburg has the perfect arch okay i think the front is like basically all mapped out the basics are all there i will decorate it and like add gardening when i add gardening to the rest of the house because gardening in Bloxburg can be a little complicated like i don't know if i want to put custom trees or like custom bushes yet so we're just gonna leave it like this now i'm so excited because we get to work on the back finally i hope you guys can tell just how excited i am to work on the back so let's just mark where everything's gonna be over here there's like a lifted patio and then there seems to be like a little gardening around here i just realized i should probably add the pool last just in case i have to move it i don't want to waste the money but we will mark it for now we will have this lovely fake pool so i've added a few things i used mainly structural and wall trims for the details everywhere i also totally forgot there's a chimney right here like a really big fat chimney and i might be crazy but i swear bloxburg had like smoke machines it's called a fog machine we can either do this one or this one I feel like this one's better. I might lower it a bit. To move like anything, I always just put it on a clear basic shape and then I can like transform it. That way it can kind of be inside. Okay, voila. And of course I have more windows to do here. I feel like I'm never done doing windows with this house. So now that the back is mainly done, I mean most of the windows are done, I'm gonna work on this little area. It seems to be just like a separate little back door. I don't know why this house has a million doors because you have like three doors over here. Not sure why you would need a door here, but okay. Okay, I've basically just copied what I did for these steps over here. I actually think we need a smaller door, so I'm gonna replace this one. So I've added a kind of custom planter and I think it will look a lot better once all the plants are here so for the hot tub i think i'm gonna have to make it entirely out of basic shapes so bloxburg does have this like jacuzzi which is similar but i want it to be as precise as possible actually i might just put this and then like put basic shapes around it and i think we're far enough to where i can place the pool the pool kind of has this border that i think i'm going to have to use basic shapes for again okay here's the pool all um like lined up i basically just use like basic shapes put it all around okay so the hot tub best idea i have is just to use basic shapes and i'll just kind of build it from there like literally build it from scratch i think i might actually keep this jacuzzi inside it just because i think it looks cool and also then it will be functional okay like a hundred years later i think it's done the cushions are like poking out but let's just not talk about that oh my gosh 
this is so cute like you can just relax here i think we are all done with like the main part of the house guys i lied we still have to do the side so i think we're done with the main exterior of the house i've been working on this house i kid you not for like hours but i think our next step i'm gonna decorate and add gardening to the exterior so i debated for a long time whether or not to use custom gardening like with the decals or just to use regular gardening i think i'm just gonna use regular gardening and see how it goes because i know they added a lot of really cute like gardening things in the last update the house has a ton of these really pretty blue flowers everywhere that i definitely want to add also this is so random but tomorrow i'm gonna see the barbie movie which i am so excited for come on barbie let's go party but yeah it hasn't come out yet but by the time this video is out it will definitely be out i'm gonna try and place this tree in the basement to kind of make a really big bush does that look weird i think i saw somewhere that you don't actually need sprinklers anymore and that flowers don't rot i don't know if that's true or not <gasps> oh my gosh a bird just flew in guys that's my first time seeing a bird in bloxbury that is so cute <gasps> another bird i don't know why i'm like freaking out over this <gasps> oh my gosh this is literally the cutest thing ever are there butterflies in bloxbury i really haven't been active on this game here's the front gardening basically <gasps> another bird okay here's the front gardening basically done as you can see i try to make like the focus point right here but other than that i just followed as many reference photos i could find and i also added another stone pathway that leads to this little area so here it is right here there are two rocking chairs and i'm pretty sure we do have rocking chairs in blocksburg but it looks like this it's like a more modern style and i feel like it doesn't fit the house i think i might just add like a simple bench okay for now this is what we have for the front moving on to the back it looks so blank compared to the front now i think i'm going to copy most of the gardening from the front to the back just so everything kind of looks put together but also because i'm lazy i feel like gardening just makes a house in blocksburg so much better like i really didn't add that much but it already looks so different now time for furniture so it looks like they have a little barbecue station right here i'm gonna use the fancy one. Oh, i did not know this was a thing oh my goodness this is so cute could add oh my gosh so i'm adding a table just because i want an excuse to use this station it's also really dark in here so i'm gonna add light lastly there are a lot of potted plants everywhere because i'm pretty sure Susanna likes to garden there's even like pots on the steps oh my gosh so i almost forgot the most important part of the house so before i add it currently the exterior of the house is worth almost 300,000 so I do be a little poor but what I really wanted to add was the red jeep if you've watched the show you know this red jeep is so iconic what the freak there we go oh my gosh it's another bird I don't know why I've turned into like National Geographic today but so of course now it's time for everybody's favorite part the tour here's the house from the outside here's the garage here's the front <gasps> another bird okay anyways you go in here i'm gonna pretend i'm belly for a second oh my gosh uh it's the beach house i stay in okay i'm done there's a very cute little garden area this area is my personal favorite because you can watch all the birds there's some lovely trees lovely bench i love the gardening in the house in this boxwork version and in the real life version i'm pretty sure Susanna planted a lot of these plants by herself which is so cute and these blue flowers are their mom's signature flower it's super cute here's the entrance you walk in and voila oh my gosh i still forgot to change those decals please ignore that lots of flowers the red jeep of course garage i also did not decorate overall i just oh, another bird okay i'm done with the birds i promise overall i just really love the gardening style of this house i think it's so cute i love their big patio and there's also this little area which i don't even know what this is i just saw this in a clip and i was like i'll add it they have three front doors for some reason just in case you know someone's using this door you don't want to wait so you go over to this door or like maybe you're just sick of steps you know you want a little a little adventure you can go out this door and 
you know, go through the bushes. Here's a cute little archway. Goes back to my favorite part, besides the bird part. This is the back of the house. I'm super happy with how this turned out. Tons of garden stuff for Susanna. Lots of bushes, blah, blah. Here's the hot tub where she can lie in. I actually don't think they used the hot tub once in the entire show, which is such a waste because I'm, I'm that girl where if we're swimming, I will be sitting in the hot tub. Look at this lovely pool where you can swim with Conrad and Jeremiah. More plants, plants everywhere. Barbecue. Again, this house, something about doors and these two seats where I can pretend I'm friends with Laurel and Susanna. But yeah, this is the house all complete. Well, the exterior at least. Um, let me know if you want me to finish the rest of this house because I would love to. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. Bye, lovelies!